being a transgender woman in Kenya is, I can say you don't fit in the society, as they say, because you constantly get battled with discrimination. My mom was kind of supportive, but my dad was reluctant about it. So it reached to a point we had verbal exchange of words between me and my dad. It reached a point where I got pissed off and like broke the windows from his car and he took me to the police station. <laughs> A lot of times it is said these people bring bad energy. They're a bad omen, you know, they're taboo because of societies and cultural norms and social mores and all that. My classmates used to, to tell me I'm behaving like a girl and I'm not a girl, I'm a man. And I really felt bad about that. They were bullying me up with insult which they intend to be funny to me, but it wasn't. I used to feel bad about it, and it used to really make me feel sad about, about myself and make me not come out to, to society. It really tortured me to, not, to an extent. I felt like, um, like even to, I felt like committing suicide. What you do at Jinsiangu is dealing with ITGNC persons, that is intersex, transgender, and gender non-conforming persons. The different groups really create um, that element of bonding, an element of sharing, and uh, coming together to understand different issues per subpopulation, and that creates an element of understanding and togetherness. And we've been training paralegals for the past uh, year and a half uh, under the KPF program. Um, and with this, we've been able to address some of the structural needs that the community has had for a long time. Although there are many community paralegals trained by many organizations that train paralegals, most of the paralegals out here also don't have information or knowledge on issues of ITGNC persons. ITGNC identity is not understood by most people in Kenya because we only represent less than 1% of the actual population. So when you look at the numbers and you look at policy and you look at what priorities are there for the community, it's there's limitation from the word go. There are people who accept me for who I am and there are people who don't accept me in public, but when you go to social media, they want to be your friends, they want to talk to you, they want to meet you behind other people's backs. And this, I mean, we try to label who we are because society makes us want, want to give them definitions of everything. But sometimes you find yourself making your life difficult because you're trying to make the life of someone else easy. And so you want to ask yourself, do I want to spend all my time explaining to the general population why I'm transgender? Or do I just want to advocate for respect? Respect who I am, respect what I do, and respect my choices.